Welcome to our beach. Nope, this is not a beach jam, but I am at the beach. If you notice, I'm here in San Diego at Mission Bay. So you got a beautiful view of Mission Bay behind me. But this is our words of wisdom. So you're here with Uke Like the Pros. I'm Terry Carter. As always, thank you for being here and helping spread the word about Uke Like the Pros. So today we're not going to use a ukulele, but I'm just going to go ahead and play just a little intro for us. to have a little warm-up before we uh, start talking. So today I want to talk about making commitments to ourselves and there's been two things that have happened to me this week that have made this why I want to talk about it today. So the first thing that happened was I was listening to a podcast by a, uh, a guy being interviewed named Tom Shea and and Tom was a 23 year old, not 23 years old, but he was a 23 year old vet of the uh, Navy SEALs. And he's recently become an entrepreneur and he helps companies uh, and CEOs succeed. And he said something interesting, and this was I think uh, Monday or Tuesday that I heard, and he said, keeping your word, but not just keeping your word to others, which is important, but keeping your word to yourself and uh, what he was referring to is when you decide to do something whatever it is we all make these these goals for ourselves I'm gonna write a song every week or I'm gonna you know play ukulele every day or I'm going to you know learn how to surf or whatever it is that we all make these commitments to but keeping that commitment to yourself is important because really what we all are is our word. So that was the first thing and I shared it with a lot of my classes because I thought it was a powerful thing. And then if you caught yesterday's Beach Jam when I met Mary Moore, she had made a commitment to every day picking up the ukulele and learning it for 15 minutes every day. And so she's made that commitment and now it's up to her to follow through on that. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and some of the ways that we can make these commitments to ourselves, but regarding the ukulele and playing music. So that's what I want to talk about. So please leave a comment. I can't see them today because I've just got one camera, so I will respond to them later, but just check in. And of course, if you're not watching this live, you can still comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So we are here at 4th of July weekend. That's why I'm at Mission Bay, which I'll be for the next few days. It's a little gloomy today, but I know the sun's gonna break through and I still had a good surf session this morning, which is two days in a row for me, which is awesome. But which is nice is all I have to do is walk right across the street and I can surf. So no driving needed. So let's talk about how we can make some commitments to ourselves. So as you know, about four months ago, I decided to start doing daily ukulele lessons here on Facebook. And it just kind of was on a whim. I didn't really have a lot of planning that went into it. I just decided one day I want to do it and the next day I started doing it. And I didn't really know what lesson one was, let alone lesson two, three, four, and so forth. And now, here we are four months later, and I have to find out exactly how many we've done so I can keep track of that. But we, I haven't missed a day since. Every day we've been live, and you know I've made that commitment to not only myself, but now all the fellow and you like the pro members. And so what it drives me, it keeps me going every day to figure out something new to talk about, something new to teach. And so that's just one of the goals that I've done. And a lot of you have joined me every day and you've made that commitment to be here and join me and hopefully learn something new every day. 
the other thing that I would like you to start making a commitment doing is trying to play with other people. I think the ukulele is a very social instrument. Matter of fact, my wife just said a few minutes ago how it's, you know, it's a great social instrument, take to a party, play a few songs, sing happy birthday, whatever it is. And I think we get, sometimes we get caught up of practicing in our own office or studio, wherever it is you practice, and we don't get out enough and play. It doesn't mean you have to be a professional musician. It doesn't mean you have to go out and earn money or get paid for a gig. It doesn't even matter. In fact, you have even have to play in front of people, but just actually going to a friend's house or meeting people on, you know, Meetup or Facebook or wherever some of the other sites are and just getting together and playing. I've shown you so many simple three chord songs that you can start playing with and start jamming. And well, the reason why it's so important to play with other people is because music is very interactive. One person's playing, you're not only playing, but you're also, you're listening and you're thinking and you're figuring out things to do. And it's a lot different than playing by yourself. It's a lot different than even if you're playing with a backing track, but to have that actual, that interaction between people. And nowadays it's so great because you can do it through Skype or Google Chat. Um, you know, there's so many different avenues now where you can play with people. You don't even have to be necessarily in the same room, but you can just be in your studio but talking over the internet. So that's what I, two things that I would like you to start, you know, make that commitment to the music is, is one is get that ukulele out every day and whether it's, it's practicing something new or practicing something old or joining me here for the Facebook live videos, but just getting that thing out, get it in your hands and playing. You may not see a lot of growth. It may not be this. It may be this and then you jump up a little bit and this and this, but what's gonna happen is three months go by, four months go by, a year go by and all of a sudden when you were here, you're gonna all of a sudden be here. And then you're gonna realize, wow, that was a good jump, but I still have so much to do. So make that commitment of playing every day and then make that commitment to playing with somebody else. As you can see with my beach jams, almost, almost weekly, I just meet people literally on the beach or like yesterday, like 15 minutes before I go live, you just meet somebody and you can play a song with them, just interact with them, and it's truly amazing experience sharing the music with people. No ego, just having fun and, and loving the music. So those are the two things that I'd like you to try to commit to yourself and whatever other things that you would like to commit to yourself because I know I have plenty of things that I need to commit to myself. There's things in the past that I've made said I'm gonna do stuff and then I never did it. And now that time goes by, the energy is not there anymore and I don't feel like doing it and I regret that I didn't take that opportunity back then to do it. So by all means, I still have ways to go and I'm always constantly improving. So making that commitment to ourselves and I think it's something that is a good model to live by. So I hope you uh, enjoyed today our little chat and uh, I hope you enjoyed the view today, a little slightly different than normal. For a lot of us here in the States, we have 4th of July coming up in a couple days, so a big celebration here. I'll uh, share some more videos in the next few days with showing you what Mission Beach is all about during this time, because it does get very crazy down here. So anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for being here, and as always, we'll see you in the next lesson.